I just want to look at this picture. This is a gift of Norway, the Camerons. It's called a solar farm, but you see, soil is not your friend here. And there's no farming going on here. There's weed control. So what do we call this? We call it a heater, I guess. Then in the United States, we have this. There's no zoning. So you can't have agriculture and solar in the same place because one's industrial zoning, the other's agricultural zoning. See? So then we thought, well, what if we put it all together? <coughs> I call them the solar orchards. If we lift the solar collectors up above head height and we, we're counterintuitive, we face them, we run them north-south, not east-west. See, Most solar collectors, the ones you just saw, are all east-west. These are north-south. They run this way. And they rock into the morning sun, noon, afternoon. And when that happens, you get more sun during the day. But the other thing that's beautiful is you get the shade. And all of a sudden, it's acting like an orchard. It's silviculture. And all the fungus comes back. And the grasses come back. And the deep-rooted perennials come back. This is in Inner Mongolia. The animals come back. The, the soil comes alive because it's shaded and it's cool. And all the fungi are happy. And for those people interested in animal husbandry, it's quite interesting, actually. You can use the posts as fence posts. And, and you can move different herds through it. So you can bring in the ungulates to mow it down. Those are the mowers. And you get wool, and you can get protein. And then you let it sit for a little bit. You bring in the chickens, because they go after all the patties and the poop and all the flies. And they eat all that. You know, so that's your pest control and your fertilizer spreader. You know, a chicken can spread a pile of poop 15 feet. You see what happens when you're three years old? Mom sings songs, <laughs> right? I'm fascinated by this. So the fertilizer spreaders, and then you can get eggs from them. Eggs are really interesting. If you take a chicken and weigh it in an egg, it's about the equivalent of a human being being able to offer a forearm's worth of protein to somebody every day. Right. So, you know, and they're just eating the stuff. Right? And then you can bring in the pigs later, and they can root around for the truffles and off to the races. So this idea that we would actually do more than one thing at a time and heal the soils and heal our energy systems and decarbonize the energy and recarbonize the soil at the same time, this is really important to us because our history will be written in the soil. <laughs>